Okay, so welcome. Uh, we are going to um, do a little animation today. I'm going to show you how to do it with Sideline Organizer from Sideline Sports, which is sidelinesports.com. Um, my name is Todd Kazenka with Planet Hoops, www.hoophype.net or planet-hoops.com. Hoop-hype.net or planet-hoops.com. It's the same website. One of the things we want to do is uh, help coaches, fans, players learn more about the game and um, just enjoy basketball a little bit better. It's one of my passions. And um, hopefully today you guys will learn something new and maybe try out this download, this free download. For it's it's a um, the free download is is awesome. You can do everything that you're going to see here today with the free download of the sideline organizer. There's a few things in there that that require a paid version, but all of the stuff that I'm going to show you today, you can do with the free version. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to show you here. This is a small little court. We're going to just go right here. And we're going to change. And what's great is you've got all these different options. Okay, you've got. Um, you can actually import your own. You can add to favorites. Um, you can do international courts. You can do full courts. You can do half courts. So um, there's a full court. What we're going to do is we'll, we'll pick a half court. And I'm just looking for the sizes. This is a half court. We'll just click. We'll click that one and select at the bottom. Okay, so that shows up. Awesome. We've got our court. Nice little background. So. Um, Here's our court, as I said. Now, very cool. Here's all your players here. Again, you, you can you can do two courts side by side if you want. One court with the green background or the blue background. I'm going to use the blue today. Um, also, you've got all these different choices here. These are numbers, okay, with little round guys. So I'm going to. Uh, you can pick large as well, and type. You can do different colors. So I can do X's and O's. I'll show you that again. Right there, X's and O's black, X and O's white, A to Z, circles, triangles. So I'm going to pick a red. And what I'm going to do though is I'm going to, um, um, I, I think I'm going to go white actually. X's and O's white. All right, large roll. That's that just means that when you click one player like this, for example, well, actually let me. Uh, you pick the whites instead. So there's zero, one. That's going to be our point guard. So you click one. Okay. Uh, we're going to do a little stack. Two. That means roll. It just goes to the next one. If you didn't have that clicked, for example, the roll right there, what would happen? It would just continue to put those guys the same number. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of the signs. Very simple. Very nice and easy. Okay, uh, I'm going to go back to uh, maybe try something different. I'm going to maybe go to uh, red guys. All right, I'm going to click roll. Again, these are large. We can go small, much too small. Okay, I don't want to use that. So there is um, an undo button as well. Just got to figure it, find where it is. Um, I'll just do this. Delete. Okay, there we go. Delete. And I'll pick the large ones. Again, I'm just showing you how to do this. It's very easy. So here's a point guard. Again, th this is going to be an animation. So um, next guy's two. I started down there. Three's there. Put the, f put the four there and the five there. A little bit of a stack situation. Okay, and then here's our other uh, accessories, they call them. You can use large players. I mean, you can do players as well. I'll show you the players, which is pretty interesting. I can use these lots of different positions, right? So we can have uh, move these guys around. We can have that guy as a defender. I don't like that color, obviously, so I'm going to use a different color. See there? I'm going to. Uh, right click on him to delete. That's how you do it. Okay, so I'm just going to put them in blue. So I'm going to show a couple of different guys how they might defend this. Okay, so I'm just going to put a guy there. Actually, he wouldn't be like that. I'm going to 
be facing inside. So maybe we'll put a guy there. Okay. And I'm going to pick another guy to the other side. He's going to be in kind of a denial position. So um, let's see. Put that guy on him on the three. Pick another guy here um, facing the other way. Let's say we just use that guy for that. Okay. The guy guarding the ball is going to be facing him straight on. Kind of like that. That'll be the stance. Okay. And one more guy on defense. We'll maybe make him a little bit open. We'll put him right in there like that. Okay. All right. Perfect. So now you saw before accessories. Click there. There's accessories. You've got cones. You've got balls. We're going to use ball. Big ball right there. And the ball goes there. Okay. Very simple. If you wanted to delete that, you just right click, delete it. You got to be careful where the arrow is, right? Because obviously what I did there was the arrow deleted the player. So I'm going to go back to players, put that guy back in there. All right. Again, I'm showing you this. I think it's very easy to use. So he's going to be not super pressure on this, but he's going to be right up there. Get to get a ball in here. Now again, this is taking a long time only because I'm showing you how it's done. You can do this much faster once you get the hang of it. And there is a lot of use of the right click in here um, and left click. Okay, so here's our lines for players or for a ball movement pattern. If you want it to be a pass or a dribble, okay, you've got lots of options there, which is very cool. Tip, if you can have that for the screen, that for an arrow, and that's just a straight line. Okay, you got a lot of options here. Color, you can change the color of the line, the width of it, and then we can add frames. Flip signs just means the the uh, all the signs flip over, the image can flip over, and then you can flip both. I'm not going to show you that yet. Um, flip horizontal, flip vertical. Let me just show you that quickly. That just flips the players. See, and that just flips flips them like that. You can also just leave them where they are, obviously, and then flip the court to show it if you like it with the basket on the other side. I'll show you that later. Um, text is over here. If I want to add text, for example, um, or signs, you have a sign collection. I'm going to add, I'm going to add just a stack offense. Okay. See how it says that there? Click it. Pick my font. Arial. I like using that. Maybe I'll try that. 16. Maybe I'll go with that. Bold color. I'm going to pick red. Okay. So I'll go like that. Stack offense. And um, there we go. It's going gonna, it's gonna to show up. Okay, and then again, here's our, our sign collection. We've got all kinds of different signs here that we can use. You can add your own steps, obviously. This is cool for footwork. So medium picture players, large players, small players. You can add new icons, new texts, import things, export things, rename things, remove things. Very, very easy to do. Okay. So um, I'm going to add a frame. Right here. Okay, you see at the bottom it says frame two of two. Okay, so in this frame I'm going to make some some movements of the players. So the other thing I'm going to do is, if you want, you can add a screen and okay, do a straight line. I'm just going to use this by clicking on that. Okay, and then right clicking it shows a little screen. Obviously in a stack situation. Okay, stack situation, 
a little bit of a screen this guy they may they might just switch here anyway but just showing you how to use these arrows now what's also really cool okay, that's just the next frame um, whenever you see the crosshairs you know you're in editing mode if you right click it an arrow okay, for example you can drag that guy to there drag that guy to there okay all right and then also I'm gonna move these guys too all right and then these guys four and five are probably gonna try to post up in this basic little thing so right here I'm gonna I'm, I'm not gonna do that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and pick one of these options so it's gonna be straight line it's gonna be a pass okay so now when I go back it's in it's in this mode which is the crosshair so I'm gonna click on the ball okay see how I clicked on the player by mistake okay so to delete that action I don't want to do that but what I do want to see how I'm moving the player and there's that little arrow there what I want to try to do I'm not going to delete that I'm just going to go to the next frame that's what I'll do I'll just make it easy so next frame I'm going to click on straight pass I'm going to try to click right in that ball okay and I'm going to right click it stop okay and then what I'm going to do also is show the ball moving on the next frame so click that actually the, <laughs> the player moved by mistake so I go back to the beginning you can see frame one of four okay here's some arrows I'm just gonna pl actually play that animation just to show you okay so the new the new player comes right here all right, so let's play it from the beginning. So you can see the player moved instead of the ball. So I kind of made a mistake. I know what I did wrong, but I'll, I'll, I'll correct that. Okay. So anyway, uh, if you go back to the beginning, which is great about this, is, is you can actually click one frame at a time. So when you're showing your players again you know you can do this online you can use your arrows you can make a video like I'm doing okay I'm gonna just close that off all right so let's go to the end clicking that button there clicks us to the, the last frame so what I'm gonna do um, see if that goes back to the beginning yeah that goes back to the beginning so I'm gonna go frame by frame okay back one frame All right now you saw the arrow what I needed to do was this and said click on the ball then click on that and sorry move the ball there instead okay there's the ball I've added another ball somehow you just go back and make a correction all right okay all right so there you go um, I am going to just take a look at this right now I'm gonna actually Okay, so again, we're back again. What I'm going to do is uh, go to this next frame, frame two out of four, as you see at the bottom. Go to the next frame, next frame. Okay, we've got two balls in here. One of the balls, I'm going to delete that ball. What I'm going to try to do is get this ball, move 
the ball there. Okay. Add a frame. Okay, here we are. Now um, so what happens next? Okay, we've got we've got the same basic positions. Now I can say, okay, what do I want now? I wanna click on this. I'm gonna make uh, make a thick line, straight line. Okay. Click here, right click. Okay, I go there. And again I could have added added the uh, the um, straight line to show it was a screen. I'm also going to do this. I'll show you how I do that. Then I'm going to make a thinner line. We'll do the screen. So just click on that. Go that way. Screen the man with the right click. Okay. So now when I click this next frame, all the players should be there. I'm going to add the, the movement of these guys as well. Sorry. Undo that. Okay, so uh, here's the line. I'm moving it around. You can see. I don't want to use that line. So what I'm going to do is do this, and then uh, uh, I'm going to delete, delete that action. Oops, sorry. So then you delete that like that. Okay. All right. Now, so what I'm going to do is pick these players again. Okay, he moves. Now let's go back to the beginning. I want to just play the animation. Click down there. The new player comes up where you can modify things. You can hide, click on something, hide that, for example. You can hide that player and hide all the defense if you want. It's an amazing tool. You can hide the ball. Okay. Hide them all. Show. Okay, flip the signs, flip image both, uh, flip horizontal, again everything gets flipped that way, flip like that, you wouldn't need to do that uh, necessarily, and this one here is rotates, it rotates the court that way, or this way, some people learn better when the, the court's like this, so it's an amazing tool, so I like it per personally, I prefer when it's like this, so you, you press this and it goes one at a time. You press this, it goes all the way through. There's the screens, there's the pass. There's two balls. Hey, we have a second ball somehow. Okay, that's four. And then the guy's are screening away, and that's where we stopped it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop there for now. I'm going to add another play later today. And this is just, again, to show you a little bit about the sideline organizer animator. I think it's an amazing tool. Um, you can get it through our website at planet-hoops.com. Just send us an email. Uh, we are in contact with Sideline Sports out of Iceland. Uh, Brynjar Carl is the main man there. They've got some new products coming out. He, he's, a, he's a basketball coach. He has his own basketball academy there. And this tool is phenomenal. Um, if you take a look at my uh, Diamond Zone offense animation that I did, I've got over 2,000 views. I don't even know. Maybe more than that. But uh, I'm going to upload this, and uh, we're going to have uh, hopefully more and more of these coming on um, on the uh, YouTube and Rever and Meta Cafe and, and all the video sharing sites, some social networking sites, some blog sites, some podcasting sites. We're going to get this out there. So as many people as possible can view this and learn and share and I've got another new project um, with a basketball coach in Turkey who's going to blow some people out of the water with a, a video project we're working on and we're going to be able to sell those DVDs to uh, all the high school and, and even college coaches he's got some very unique ideas 
and uh, this coach is uh, 79 years old. He's he's an amazing man, and he has um, he has a lot of experience, and I uh, can't wait to show you that project when that's done. So, if you have any questions, please send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to help you, and uh, we'd love to for you to share your ideas as well. And we'll get those uh, we'll get those uh, animations and diagrams out to the uh, world through the internet. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.